Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will see how to create a simple door model in a fully graphical, constraint-based CAD tool without any need for coding. This method does not require any programming skills at all as opposed to Adecocamp's programming infrastructure one can use to create parts and modules in a non-graphical environment. We will draw a simple door model from scratch and send it to a CNC for actual production from within Adecocamp. We will first see how to quickly set up an external tool in the settings. I'd like to use in this tutorial an open source CAD tool called SolveSpace. I could choose AdecoCAD as well or AutoCAD or any other tool you might be more familiar with. Go to the settings and just show where the external tool you want to use is by clicking on Find button. I show the path and exit. You can also copy paste the location here. Just to be sure the path is correct, hit Run to check whether the tool is actually invoked. Return back to the main screen as the setup is complete. Let's get started. I create a new empty project card by clicking on this plus button as usual. Right click on the project card and see currently available methods to populate the project card with individual parts. In other tutorials, import file, add part, door and product items should have been covered. Now we will select add what you draw instead, which will invoke the external CAD tool as we just set up in the settings. This specific tool has basic drawing functionality on the top left as well as constraints below them. As more complex drawing functionality such as but not limited to tangents, offsets and trims are achievable by simply combining these basic functions, we don't need separate explicit buttons for them. I'll draw the part layer first. I follow my intuition and draw an arbitrary rectangle by clicking on this button here. Selecting all the lines forming the shape and setting the layer at which I want this rectangle to sit. In this tool, style is the layer in the DXF file. Creating a new layer and calling it panel. I'll do the same. Draw an inner rectangle to contain a sharp corner frame and set its newly created layer the same way but this time to groove. These layer names will be available in Adecocam when the part is imported. This design is complete and it can now be imported into the project card. But let's use the constraints to have more control over the design. First of all, I'd like this inner rectangle to have an offset of 50mm from the edges of the part. I select the point here and the edge here. Now we will set a constraint for these selected entities as they are called in the DXF output. I click on this button or hit the key D to set a constant distance in between and double click on it to set its value to 50. You can see now, as I move the part, the distance is maintained. I'll keep setting up constraints until the behavior of the model is as I want. All looks OK. Now let's make the part symmetric around the center just for convenience. I select the edge and the axis as we will apply the symmetric constraint on these two objects. Now the part is symmetric on one axis. Let's do the same for the other edge and axis. Now the part is always centered as I move any point maintaining the distance constraint from the edges. I'd like the width and height to be settable rather than moving the points manually to change the dimensions of the part. So I select the edge and click on this button here to set its dimension. Do the same for the other edge. Let's set the width to 500mm and length to 700 Scroll to zoom in and out. Now none of the points is movable as there is no degree of freedom left. To change the dimensions of the part we would like to produce, we should set the width and height manually. But you might want to make it mouse settable and just want to see what the current dimensions are. In this case, just select the distance constraint, not the edge but the constraint itself, and click on Ref button which will convert the constraint to a ref object. If I move one of the points, then it will only show what the current size is rather than forcing it to be equal to a specific value. Only one dimension changes as the other edge is still constrained to 700. 
let me change it too. So both width and length can change concurrently. But I want these values to be manually settable, therefore I'll change them back to being constraints and not references. I'd like to keep this model in my drawing library so I can load it every time I need to produce an instance of it. Save it in its native format, whatever it is, and export an instance as seen on the screen into a DXF file to be imported by Adecocam. Go to Adecocam and import the DXF by the plus button here on the project card. Let me quickly nest it on a plate and move it to the toolpath view. Select the procedure and calculate the toolpath. Right click on the machine code and select simulate all to see the result. This was a simple model I selected for convenience, but arbitrarily more sophisticated models can obviously be created. As an example, let's repeat the same process and add a variation of pretzel model into the same card. I don't want to use the plate, so I move the card back. Right click on the project card and select add what you draw again. This time, instead of drawing from scratch, I'll just load a model from my drawing library, modify it and import in Adecocamp. Assume you want to change the offset design parameter first. The changes are instantly available on the view as you can see. Now, let me change the dimensions of the part arbitrarily by moving any point in the design. As you see, the model is parametric against dimensions and it maintains the design variables as I move the points. I can export this part as seen on the screen now and import into Adecocam for manufacturing the same way we imported the previous part. In this tutorial we covered how to set up an arbitrary external CAD tool in Adecocam and use it for drawing a part in a fully graphical environment without any need for programming or coding. We visited how to create geometries using constraints as an advanced method for creating relational geometries. Thanks for your attention.